I am one of your two co-hosts, Tom Summers with Coldwell Banker Burnett, and I'm always with my very talented co-host, Eric McKenna, out of Remax Advanced in Pittsburgh. How are you? I'm, I'm doing, doing great, Tommy. Great, great to, to great to be here, here with you today and to share. That's what Thank we do is we share here. Absolutely. And I want to first go out on a limb here and, and apologize to each and every one of you that have been following us. We've taken a bit of a hiatus and it's not been on purpose. It's just happened. Um, I was very sick for a couple of weeks and just could not even speak. We got busy with, with uh, work. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. We are doing our best to be consistent and bring you guys uh, good quality material. So thanks for hanging in there. And my apologies to Eric and all of you. So we are back and we're rocking it. We are. We are. It's so rock and roll, babe. Today we're going to talk about avoiding frustration when you're looking at the marketplace and being a buyer. So, Eric, do you want to start us out and just kind of... Sure. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. You know, one of the, uh, I feel, keys uh, to being a successful realtor is the interpersonal connection and the relationship that we develop with our clients. I think all successful realtors have very one thing in common, and that, that big thing is their ability to have great interpersonal skills and to really enjoy their time with their clients. And one of the things that we, we are cognizant of is that especially in this seller's market where we don't have a lot of inventory and we have a lot of buyers out there looking, Oftentimes, our buyers get into competitive situations where it doesn't always go our buyer's way. And I think it's important that we as realtors keep positive flow and keep the positive attitude for our buyers to help them through any disappointments. And ultimately, it's important for us to, to manage expectations, especially with each deal that we provide offers for. Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, I guess for me, it's goes back to expectations as well we want to paint that picture that we are a full service agent so we're the person you go to to voice your frustration uh to answer your questions to be supportive and the thing i always say to my clients because of the situation we're in right now because we're experiencing the same thing in minneapolis and st paul as eric is out in pittsburgh mm -hmm. um multiple offers are just the way of life currently because we have such low inventory and it's it's very easy to say look you know for everyone every home that sells another one pops up in its place but it's true and you got to be focused on the goal and and maybe sometimes you didn't get that house for a reason and you may never know why but it was a gift that you didn't and again that sounds maybe a little silly but you know, before I was a realtor, my wife, Cheryl, and I, we purchased our third home, and it was an acreage property, and we lost out on three houses, and we were more devastated with each passing loss of multiples. Now, fourth house we get, and looking back 20 years later, I am so grateful that we didn't get those first three houses because I didn't know what I know now, and it turned out to be the way that it should. Mm -hmm. So you want a good realtor that's not going to give up on you. Absolutely right. And I'll carry that a step further. Um, you know, I think I've told this, if not once, maybe a hundred times to my buyers. And that is that uh, this is kind of a harsh philosophy, but I, I try to instill with them that we need to keep our passions, you know, in check to a degree. I also go out and I say, you know, it's kind of a prudent idea or a very pragmatic philosophy to never fall in love with one piece of property. And, you know, that's the, the double-edged sword, of course. So you want to be careful how we deliver that. It depends on our buyer, but it really is a good philosophy. If something didn't happen for you, if a deal fell through, if you weren't the highest bidder, if we went through inspections and the house just isn't going to work for you, all that happens for a reason. I always say that your house just hasn't revealed itself yet. It's out there. It may not even be on the market the, today, but it's going to reveal itself. And in the end, you will find the right home for you. It's almost like magic, but that's ultimately what happens with everyone. You find, find the, the house, house that's just for, for you. you. 
I love that. You're right. It may not have revealed itself yet. That is so on course. And this is a philosophical thing that we both believe in, and it may sound odd, but it is. there's so much truth to this, that you land where you're supposed to land. So our job is to not give up on you and you not to give up on us. We will be there every single step of the way. We will not falter. We will not give up. I don't care if we look at one home or we look at 50. We will show you what you need to see to help you make that decision. But you got to learn that this is a process. It's not a, a quick fix. You can't just make something happen. And then once you get to the point where you do pr write a purchase agreement, there's nothing that's set in stone that says it's going to finish itself off in six hours. Sometimes it can take two weeks to negotiate this purchase agreement out. And we, we're, what we're trying to say today, if, if we're not coming across clear, is please be patient with the process. Don't give up and don't allow yourself to get sucked into that negativity that so many buyers do because I'm telling you, it will not service you. You have to be prepared like we've talked about, have your pre-approval letter, know what you're looking for, and then just stay steadfast in your search and that right one will come along for you. I agree and I will add this too. For all the benefits that the internet provides everyone, especially the consumer, we have a lot of knowledgeable consumers out there. For all the benefit that the internet provides, there's also that negative side. And that negative side is you can read a lot of negativity. You can ingest a lot of negativity on any subject, politics, whatever it is, sports. But in real estate, you also can ingest a lot of negativity. And let's face it. What do most people write and complain about on the web? They complain about things that happen bad to them. You're not always going to hear the great things. That's just not we're wired as humans, and it's unfortunate. unfortunate. But watch what you ingest. Watch, watch and guard the gateway to your mind. Leave the negativity out. Focus on the positive and put your faith in your realtor. Yeah, extremely well said. And I'm sure some of you are tuning in going, what? It's like, is this a Tony Robbins workshop? It's like, no, it's Jim, Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn. Yeah, <laughs> yes. exactly. But it's just, we, we felt we felt compelled to talk about this because we're seeing so much negativity out there right now. And so one of the things that we can do for you to help you get through this is, this is why we're here. Call us. Talk to us. When you're feeling that way, don't hold it back because we're not mind readers, but we are problem solvers. And we want to hear from you when you're discouraged. I've had, I had one last week where we wrote an offer on this place almost two months ago and at the time my folks had a purchase agreement on the home that they were selling we'd been through the appraisal we'd been through the inspection so they're contingent but really not they're subject to the closing which went off everything was fine this seller would not take our purchase agreement because there was a contingency and we're like, well, no, it's not a contingency because he was so paranoid that it wasn't going to close. So fast forward a month and a half, the house is still for sale. Now it's lower than what our offer was. We come back to him again, and now he wants an extra two weekends to keep all of his crap in his garage to move it out because he still doesn't believe it'll close. Whereas I've got a pre-approval letter. I've got a, a, a qualified buyer with you know, 5% down and all of that. And you can't allow the insanity of other people to take you off your game and let that affect what you're doing to try to find a house. You just need to move on. And you can't hold on to it. You just have to kind of let it go. Okay, well, this guy's nuts. Let's move on. <laughs> That's right. It, it's very true. And it, whether it's a real life human being that you are interacting with, whether it's your uncle Jim or aunt Matilda giving you advice, or whether it's something you read on the internet or even, heaven forbid, an HGTV show. Don't, in, don't ingest the negativity, okay? Lean on your realtor. One, one of the greatest things I love to do as a realtor is just talk to my clients. And, it, and sometimes, you know, I, I, as we, Tommy and I do that, we get to know you, which is great, because that, sometimes that gives us special insight. Absolutely. But also, but also, we like to try to keep you on an even keel if we can and answer any questions you have going forward. Your psyche, your state of mind through this process is so important to us. Number one, because we care about you. But number two, this works so much better if we're congruent and we're on the same page and step by step by step, you trust us and we get you there. We and get you there. Yeah, and and and. Eric said it exactly right. We do care, and that may sound odd also, but look, we're we're vesting 
ourselves in you and we want you to be successful. Mm -hmm. Our number one thing is putting our clients first. So if you think that I don't lay awake at night worrying about something, you're kidding yourself because I can't tell you how many nights I haven't slept worrying about the outcome of something because we've got issues with the purchase agreement. We will care for you, but you have to trust in the process and Mm -hmm. talk to your agent and lean on them like Eric said. Absolutely right. Just get a gate, you know, kind of let you keep them in your mind, you know, guard the gateway to your mind and what you let in, especially during your real estate process, because you're going to hear information from everybody. Yes. Okay. It's just the nature of the game. Everybody knows more than you and everybody out there knows more than your realtor. Yep. When in reality, you choose, you chose us for our expertise and our relationship with you. Count on that. We will get you there every time. It might not be this house, might not be the next house. But you're going to get there and it will be the right house. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, the the thought of this, again, is trusting in your agent and trusting in the process. Uh, Is there any final thoughts you have on this? Anything else you want to say? No, I just stressed uh, that that I, I love I love Tommy. I love him as a brother because you, sir had the same philosophy, not just on real estate. We have it on life. We shared many Mm -hmm. things together. But talking about real estate in this podcast, we share the same idea of really entrenching ourselves and being that advocate for our clients. And, you know, Tommy and I spoke one day off camera and we said both kind of the same thing. It's It's a testament to what I believe our success with our relationships with our clients because in the end, We both have gained tremendous and long-term friendships with our new clients because they were so happy with what we did and so happy at the journey together. And that's the most rewarding thing. That far far supersedes money or recognition. It's that relationship that we build with you during the process and then after the process. Totally. It matters. It it truly does. So if you are not in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area or the Pittsburgh area, but you're looking for a real estate agent, we say this every time, please reach out to us. We can help find you one at no cost to you. We're happy to do that. You just need Mm -hmm. to reach out to us and let us know uh, the area in which you're looking uh, to purchase in, and we will help hook you up if you don't know someone. Uh, If not, we wish you the very best of luck wherever you are in the country, and we will keep making these for you to help you understand the process more. Absolutely. Until next time, guys, for Eric McKenna of Remax Advanced and me, Tom Summers of Coldwell Banker, we hope you guys have a wonderful week, and we will see you again soon. See you.